Okay, well, Monday I started a What Not to Wear series, and how many were here Monday? Okay. But um, I had talked about my title was Are You Wearing Sin, right? So I was like, well, what should I talk about today? And I couldn't, like, no, I was just thinking, I was like, okay, what could I talk about that was opposite to sin? So I went to Galatians, and I was like, oh, wow, I could talk about this. And then I want to do a funny, but this is my title. Are you wearing the fruit? And I was thinking, am I wearing the fruit of the loom underwear? No, that doesn't make sense. I want to make a little funny logo and just have the underwear. Yeah, hangs and all that. But this is my topic for today, are you wearing the fruit? So if you have your Bible, go with me to Galatians chapter 5. I'll wait for you. Anybody else have it? No? I encourage you to bring your Bible. How many have a Bible? How many need one? How many need a Bible? Because you don't have one. Dig it out. Isn't that the same right, the one that I have? You can still bring it. Okay, wait. Galatians chapter 5, verses 16. 16. So I say, live by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. For the sinful nature desires what is contrary to the spirit, and the spirit what is contrary to the sinful nature. But if they are in conflict with each other so that you do not do what they want. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. The acts of sinful nature are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity, and debauchery, idol, idolatry, and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunk, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, of those who live like this will not be inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. I forgot to press the space for it, but I'll keep reading. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have been cru have crucified the sinful nature with its passion and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. Now, the fruit of the Spirit, as I had said, it was joy, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Now, who can name me some of the sins I used on Monday? Cursing. Okay. Anybody else? Oh, wait. Sorry. Well, I had used a lot of sins, and I'll get to that problem right now. But the thing is, you want to have your body clean. Like I talked about on Monday. You want your shirt clean. You want it clean with the blood of Christ. Right now, your shirt is supposed to look like this. These are the good things. Joy, love, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And the thing is, we lack, some of us lack love, some of us lack peace, some of us lack patience, faithfulness, and self-control. Because love is a good word, as its opposite was hate. And then for goodness and kindness, I mean, you know, you got not to be, you do not have to be jealous of somebody who has better things than you, because jealousy can be really, really ugly. A little bit more just pop out, you know? And patience, you guys have to have patience. Like anything happens, like you're in line waiting, like for the food. <laughs> Don't hurry up, because you will have fits of rage, <laughs> as it says here. But the thing is, right now, some of us, I'm not saying who, some of us have that. These are the sins. Sex, jealousy, hate, lying, fornication, cheating, cussing, killing, stealing, drugs, addiction, gossip, and lust. Some of us, our shirts looks like that right now. <laughs> and I'm not saying if it's you or not, I'm just saying, you know, we've got to clean all these. By asking God to forgive us of our sins, and we have to have the fruits of the Spirit. I was gonna bring smooth sexual fruits, but I didn't have all of the fruits, because these all mean 
something. But the thing is that most of the school, and for Monday, I'm going to be talking about a message called I Don't Know. And I got, already got a page of questions, and I'm just like, okay. So I read them. All it talked about was sex. And I was just like, oh, dear Jesus, what am I going to do? You know, I was just like, I, I don't know what to do. So I asked Brian to write on the board. And it says, chapter 19, the acts of the sinful nature are obvious. Sexual immorality and impurity. We'll take this off because, one, right now this school is facing sexual immorality and impurity. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your M. Your M. Oh. On immorality. Well, you can't see it, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, these, this school has that mostly. As I said, right now, I'm not saying it to you guys, but you know, just take all of these out. You have one big. Bless you. <laughs> You have that right now in the middle of your heart. And that's what's bad. And the thing is that we have to go into the school <coughs> and show them these. I don't know if you guys were here, but it says, I rub off onto Brian when I use that example. I forgot what example it was. But what I am, I rub off to him. What you guys are, what should be that, should rub on to those who don't have that. They have that, but you want them to have that. Mm -hmm. And so I had like 25 questions of sex, which is like, God, does all, does all these girls think? And I was just like, they're not here, oh, so I was kind of disappointed. But I will get into impurity on Monday. So that's going to be my topic. But the thing is, guys, I'm almost done. But the thing is, you know, we have to have these in order to preach to the people who have those. Because if you have those, you can't have these to bring to those. <laughs> Amen? <laughs> okay. So right now I'm gonna we're gonna get in a circle like we did the last time. And we're all gonna pray. Alright? Come on. I saw God last last Monday. Hey, I'll go outside. Yeah. Yeah. There's a space right there. <laughs> again guys and then I'm gonna get into detail with prayer okay everybody by here okay. dear Jesus just repeat it after me dear Jesus I believe you I believe you are the Son of God that you died for my sins that you were buried and rose again as written in the Bible I'm sorry for the things I've done that hurt you forgive me of all my sins come into my heart Take charge of my life, Take charge of my life. And, make me and make me the way you want me to be. The way you want me to be. With your ever-present help, I renounce all my sinful practices of the past. Cleanse my heart with your precious blood. Write my name in your book of life. I confess you now as my Lord and Savior. Now fill me with the fruits of the Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, guys, thank you for coming.